In this latest video, I'd like to demonstrate for you some of the changes that we've made within our pin mapping screen. It'll be difficult to show all of this to you just because of the size of the screen, but you probably are familiar with our normal uh, spreadsheet for entering uh, data about a component's pin information. Our cut and paste screen has a new button on it called graphically move pins. And if you select that, we're going to bring up a screen that allows you to select the gate off of the component that you'd like to move or view. And then it brings up a window for your viewing. I'm going to try and scale this to a size that will fit in our recorder. There we go. Now the whole goal of this uh, view is that it will allow us to actually graphically move and adjust where pins are. For instance, um, as you see, I can move those. I could uh, grab these and it change sides actually. Um, we might grab all of these and move them down some so that we have a larger uh, area on one side of the part than the other. And the nice thing about that, or this process, is that once we've done this, when we say that we're done, all of this data is brought back to our spreadsheet and our spreadsheet is updated so that the grouping that we generally use to define where symbols would fall, it's usually done here with the grouping information, is all updated. The side information left and right is all updated based on this latest set of information from your move pins. If you go back and do it again, you'll find that uh, what we moved did get saved, the positioning, and the whole goal of this is that we feel that it will help people to uh, be more effective or efficient when it comes to moving pins. We actually find in-house that moving them with the pin numbers is faster, but a lot of times if we get one or two off, it's very difficult to get back in the rhythm. By coming over here, we can solve that problem. I hope you like this new feature and that it helps you to be more efficient.